What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, uh, Scorpio, and you've enjoyed my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for Sign of Scorpio. This should resonate if you have sports in any aspects of your chart Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midham, and Jupiter charts. So don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for South Scorpio. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midham, and Jupiter charts for additional message or messages. I uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. And if you want to share my channel very publicly on social media word of mouth, I appreciate it very much. Single mom and two kids, the same, same, same. Okay. So I received two channel messages for your um, uh, your sign for uh, the gist of 96. This is for approximately 925 to 928, 2022. Um, number 49 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 49, it could be a possible age of viewers by you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 49. Okay, so the first channel message I received was... Um, Huge life-altering events coming soon. So you plug that in, how it resonates. That could be huge life-altering life events coming for you or somebody you're connected to. And the second one I heard, seasonal a property soon. So some kind of seasonal a property. Now, energies can be reversed. So the huge life-altering events could be for you or somebody you're connected to. Only you know your situation is short than anybody else. And then some kind of seasonal a property. That could be you getting property seized or somebody you're connected to getting property seized. Um, this reminds me of like RICO crimes and RICO law, but, um, I didn't hear that. I just heard seasonal of property. For some, it could be repossessions or foreclosures, possibly, um, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, but some kind of seasonal of property, whether it's like RICO crime or RICO law or repossessions or foreclosures, um, you plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio, okay? We have Grace. Seven of Pentacles upright, two of Pentacles upright, ten of Cups reversed. A Scorpio is giving, 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 giving to the wrong family situation. You did not see this in the past, but you're about to. And you do not have to give to this family situation. It is not court-ordered child support. There are many series of chain of events. You're about to cut it off. There's no... Uh, there's no thankfulness here, and you know this. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for one of you guys, you're giving, 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 giving to the wrong family situation. So some wrong family dynamic. It sounds like financially, seven of pentacles upright. Um, I heard you don't have to, like, you're not court ordered to, uh, I heard it's not specifically not court ordered child support. So I think you're giving to ch child or children in this family dynamic or a adult or adults in this family dynamic. How that resonates and applies, but I heard you don't have to do it. So it's not court ordered. It's not official paperwork or documentation where you have to do this. Um, I don't feel it's your child or biological child or like you're not legally obligated to do it, uh, whoever you are. Um, but you are giving seven of pentacles upright. You are, I heard giving, giving, giving. So I think you've been giving for a while for a lot of you guys, but you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard there's no thankfulness. There's no um, gratefulness. There's no um, like positive copacetic reciprocation there. Um, I heard through many series of chain of events you're about to cut it off. And I don't blame you if they're not thankful or grateful that you're, I mean, whoever you are, you're giving physical money to this uh, family dynamic, whether it's one adult, two adults, a blended family, or child or children, they're not thankful. So I heard you're about to cut it off. For some, you could, uh, however that resonates, whoever this person is and how they apply your life or people or family or what have you. It's some kind of family dynamic, whether it's an adult, adults, or um, children, how that resonates. Seven of Pentacles upright. 
you're given, given, given seven of pentacles there. Uh, that's positive seven, positive 10. And for a lot of you guys, I feel you've been given to, for a while, but you're about to financially cut it off right now. You're energetic up in the upright in the space because you have, you're still giving, but I think you've been contemplating, you've been juggling the contemplation energy of to cut it off. I heard through many series of chain of events, you are because it's 10 of cups reversed. There's no happiness there. There's no happiness, joy, family done it. I mean, it's not happy and copacetic. Uh, you're giving financially, giving financially, and giving financially. There's no happiness and love and um, gratefulness and return, copacetic, positive return. I don't feel they're appreciating you, Scorpio. If this reson resonates with you. I don't feel whoever this family dynamic is, whether it's an adult, adults, or a child or children, they're not appreciating that you're giving. And I heard you don't have to. So it's not like you're legally obligated to do this. How that resonates with flaws. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, um, whoever you are. But of course, that's your own free will to whatever choice you're going to make here, okay? But I definitely think you've been thinking about it in the past. Um, but but soon, it sounds like you're about to, whoever you are and how that applies, okay? Grace, number, uh, like I said, number 49 could be a very significant number of one's life, number 49. An Aries, a Pisces, and a Libra, and a Sagittarius is about to come very, and a Leo is about to come very significant in your life. An Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, and a Leo is about to come very significant in your life. A lot of fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and a, um, uh, and a Libra, and a Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, a Libra, and a, a Pisces is about to become very significant in your life. It can be masculine or femme, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, or Leo. They can have Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, or Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine here for Jupiter charts. For some of you guys, it could be one person. For some, it could be two or two plus, but that's a lot of signs. Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, or Leo, and an Aquarius, and an Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, or Libra, uh, Libra, or Libra. Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Leo, Aquarius. Now, whoever these people are and how they resonate, mask on a fem, however you interact with them, okay? Grace. A Scorpio is about to separate from a cult. A Scorpio is about to separate from a coven. And a Scorpio is about to separate from a gang. And a in the mafia. Whoa. Holy crap. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're about to separate from a cult, a gang, a coven, and a mafia. A cult, a gang, a, mo a coven, and a mafia. And the mafia. And the mafia. I didn't know you could separate from the mafia, but of course I don't associate with people in the mafia and if I do I don't know what I do just saying some of you guys you're about to separate from a cult a gang a coven and the mafia um only you know who you're associated with not anybody else whether it's a cult a gang coven or a ma the mafia um I don't know how to separate from a cult a gang a uh, coven or mafia because I'm not affiliated or associated with any of those things and never have been but how that resonates um uh, hopefully you come out with your life because uh, those things are dangerous um, but however that resonates and applies hopefully you come out living um, I didn't hear you're going to pass away but those things are very dangerous to even get affiliated with to begin with so hopefully you can separate with your life and yourself intact um, hopefully uh, whoever you are and how that applies Scorpio Grace Public humiliation is about to become significant in a Scorpio's life. And escaping a situation by the grace of God. And moving in on a situation to help somebody. 
that was a huge victim in a terrible situation. So you plug in and how it resonates. So some kind of escaping by the grace of God energy. One of you guys is about to move in on a serious situation where there was some kind of victim. Uh, hopefully they don't have or play victim mentality, but um, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But if that resonates, message applies for you, you're about to move in on a serious situation. It sounds like of the past to help out somebody that was a huge victim. Um, whoever this person is and how they apply. And for one, you're about to escape a situation by the grace of God. Um, how that resonates and applies. And then there was a third one. You ha have to go back and check it. The grace of God energy here. And the third one, um, you're going to bestow grace upon somebody, really help them because they truly were a victim of something. Uh, whatever it was, I didn't hear what it was. It could have been something affiliated with a coven, a gang, a cult, or a, um, or the mafia, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. But grace of God energy, very strong here. If this resonates for you, um, Scorpio. For one, you're a CEO of a corporate conglomerate. For one, you work in corporate of a corporate conglomerate. For one, you are affiliated with the CIA. For one, you're a terror reader. Okay, so for one, you're a CEO of a corporate conglomerate. For one, you're working corporate in the corporate conglomerate. For one, you uh, are affiliated with CIA. And for one, you're a terror call reader. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Woo -wee. New ventures. New ventures is what I just heard. New ventures. So new ventures, some kind of new ventures. Um, that could be you taking on new ventures or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in, how it resonates. I love you guys. I hope this helped and namaste.